We're Hacker Twins, and today we're going to teach you how to invent a robot in three steps. Step one, your ideas don't matter. You have to make goals. Our goal is to make a beginner-friendly robot arm that uses the most common and affordable parts. It has to be fun, cooler than any other beginning robot arm on the market, and costs no more than $50. When you make goals, you actually make constraints. Besides affordable motors, we have other material constraints as well. A steel bearing plate to weigh down the base, two wire slip ring so the robot can spin continuously instead of being stuck at 180 degree turns like other robots, and a little toolbox container for storage and shipping instead of a cardboard box. Another way this arm can be affordable is by 3D printing all the parts in one go. We use a Bamboo Lab, which is a really popular 3D printer and has a pretty generic print plate. To summarize step one, you must physically build something with the goals in mind. In doing so, you'll develop new ideas along the way. Ideas are worth nothing compared to actually getting the work done, so get to building. The next step is to follow these three rules when building. It must be fast, easy, and reliable. Our first version of Desk Buddy breaks these three rules all the time. For instance, the gripper is not easy to assemble because it has a lot of parts, which makes it unreliable because it's heavy. The new gripper is fast and easy to assemble and we removed the black TPU because it was heavy and unnecessary. Hologroove's PLA works much better, and it's a lot more simple. The wrist wasn't fast either. Although our new wrist has several small parts as well, it's easy to assemble. Ultimately, if you break more than two of these three rules, it's a red flag and you should full stop. This wrist broke all three rules. The planetary gear system was a fun idea but it is unreliable and it's just too wobbly. Here's the old base. It's fast and easy, but it's not reliable. We had to make a group to let the outer gear fit the planetary gear system. And although this is easy, we're breaking the reliability rule. These are more like guidelines to keep you on track while building. There are times where you're gonna break a rule and keep moving forward, but just consider the consequences of doing so. Our new idea to put the gear on top fixed a reliability issue, but the teeth were too small, and it was really hard to line up. So we just made them bigger, and now it's easy. Step three, the secret to iterative design. Iterative design is a cycle of prototyping, analyzing, testing, and basically the evolution process of developing something. A common phrase in the software development world is fail fast, because you wanna constantly stay in the loop of innovating and accepting failure allows you to innovate faster. So the secret to iterative design, it's impossible to fail if you never give up. Failure is required and you must accept it and build a system that allows you to fail. For example, I love to build robots and then immediately test them until failure. Even though I'm breaking them, I find it fun and it shows opportunities where I can learn and where I can make a better robot. The previous version of Desk Buddy is something I'm honestly not proud of because how unreliable it was. I was failing to achieve its goals and the constraints felt too difficult, but I knew failure was a necessary product in the iterative loop and Desk Buddy kept evolving. Now that we finally have a robot that's reliable and fun enough to operate, we can officially label this as Desk Buddy version 1.0. You can check out the CAD and code at our GitHub link below or at hackertwins.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hacker Twins out.